A trooper died while honoring a fallen colleague. Then, Benin College students have a new dorm to move into. Also, let's take a look at the national news on the swine flu pandemic and something that you might not know about the flu vaccine. And it's game talk time. We take a look at how good USC did at last night's game. All that and more next. Nightcast starts right now. Live, now, and on the digital waves. This is WJTW News 11 Nightcast. Hello, I'm Jesus Wayne. Let's get to our top story. South Carolina Highway Patrol Trooper Jonathan Nash was killed while, while honoring a fallen colleague Saturday. Colin King Lancaster say, a man with integrity, a man of pride, and a man who do what, what he loves doing. Nash was riding in a motorcade on U.S. Highway 1 in Camden for a charity ride honoring another troop killed on that same roadway. Colin Lancaster continues, they were raising money for senior scholarships, is what they were doing today. A 79-year-old driver attempted to make a left turn, but she hit the trooper while, while he was on his one-mile run on the on Memorial Ride. Lieutenant Chris Cowan with the Richmond County Sheriff's Department say she made a turn into a trooper, struck him, and then drove him across the intersection. Benedict College students began to move into a new dorm. Some students at Benedict, at Benedict College got a new home on Sunday after the county told said that their dorm they were living in was not safe. It's not exactly your classy dorm, but the apartment the students are in now are new and home to 250,000 students. The timeline for the move-in is Friday, but the first group of students have already arrived. Coming up, your national news on the swine flu pandemic, and also a secret that you might not know about, and your weather and sport are next. If you watch TV at 10, 9 central, you notice a lot of cop shows and no comedy. But at the end of a rough day, you want to laugh it off. <laughs> You don't shoot it off or stab it off or strangle it off. You laugh it off. Which is why we're bringing you the Jay Leno Show. A full hour of laughter every weeknight at 10, 9 central. Well, that looks like a happy young uh, girl. Really? Well, let's see who it is. Oh! <laughs> Comedy at 10, 9 central. For swine flu vaccine production is falling short. Global production of the swine flu vaccine will be substantially low than the previous maximum forecast of 94 million doses a week, the health organization said Friday. The number of doses produced in a year would therefore fall short of the 4.9 billion doses for a global health body previously hoped to be available for the pandemic, who spoke in the category of Gregory Harthen told reporters in Geneva. Production will, will be lower because some manufacturers are still running out vaccines for seasonal flu. An illness that can be serious and sick and elderly people, Harvard said. Production problem also have reduced weekly output of the pandemic um, vaccine, he said. The United States, France, Britain, and six other countries announced Thursday that they will share part of the vaccine supplies with poorer countries. Now for your sports. There was a stunning silence for William Bryce as the U University of South Carolina football team left the field at halftime Saturday night, clinching to slender 17-16 advantage over visiting Florida Atlantic University. After taking 20 minutes to regroup, the Gamecocks took control of the game in the second half and claimed a 38-16 a victory in front of 72,017 fans. The Gamecocks uh, Utilized a punishing rushing game, clinching passing and opposition, defending the score 21 points while shutting out the Owls in the second half. USC finished with 283 yards rushing and 516 yard total yards. Now for your Global Watch HD forecast.
Look at your Monday, Monday regional forecast and come here looking at a high 85 with cloudy skies, partly cloudy skies. Same with Orangeburg. And Charlotte looking at a high around 80, also partly cloudy skies. In Greenville and Augusta, we're looking at a chance of an isolated thunderstorm. In Greenville, a high of 76. And Augusta, a low of 84. And now looking at a 7 day, looking at temperatures around the middle to upper 80s. And lows around the upper 60s. On Monday and Tuesday, Monday and Sunday, we're expecting, sorry, Tuesday and Sunday, we're expecting a chance of thunderstorms, while the rest of the week is expecting a partly cloudy skies. Thanks for watching this edition of WGTW News 11. You can visit our website at wgtwnews.webs.com and our Twitter page at twitter.com slash wgtwnews. Thank you and good night.